He is known for being a five-time elected consul of the Roman Republic, showcasing his prominent role in Roman politics. He gained the prestigious Spolia Opima for his victory in single combat, demonstrating his military prowess. His name is Marcus Claudius Marcellus. In the annals of ancient Rome, there was a legendary figure whose name still echoes through the ages, Marcus Claudius Marcellus. This remarkable man, elected consul of the Roman Republic not once, but five times, was a formidable military leader during two pivotal wars in Roman history. His exploits on the battlefield would earn him the highest honor a Roman general could receive, the Spolia Opima. Marcellus first made his mark during the Gallic War of 225 BC, where he displayed his exceptional skill and bravery. It was in the midst of this conflict that Marcellus achieved the extraordinary feat that would forever seal his place in history. In a dramatic display of valor, he engaged in single combat with the Gallic military leader and king, Viridomarus. Against all odds, Marcellus emerged victorious, slaying his opponent and claiming the Spolia Opima, a prize reserved only for those who had killed an enemy commander in such a manner. But Marcellus's military prowess did not end there. During the Second Punic War, he undertook a momentous campaign that would forever be etched in the annals of Rome. Leading his forces in a prolonged siege, Marcellus set his sights on the fortified city of Syracuse. It was within these ancient walls that the renowned mathematician, scientist, and inventor Archimedes resided. Despite the conflict, Marcellus held great respect for the genius of Archimedes and explicitly ordered his soldiers not to harm him. However, fate had a different plan. Tragically, during the chaos of the siege, Archimedes lost his life. It was a poignant moment, as the brilliance of one man's mind clashed with the brutality of war. Marcellus, though victorious in his conquest of Syracuse, was left with a bittersweet victory and a heavy heart. In 208 BC, the illustrious career of Marcus Claudius Marcellus came to a tragic end. He perished in battle, leaving behind a legacy of military triumphs and a revived Roman legend of the Spolia Opima. His life stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Roman Republic and the extraordinary feats its leaders were capable of achieving. Marcus Claudius Marcellus will forever be remembered as a towering figure in the annals of ancient Rome, his name forever etched in the annals of history. In the year 225 BC, a war broke out between the Gauls of northern Italy and Rome, led by the Insubrians. Among those who participated in the conflict was a young soldier named Marcellus. The Romans made significant progress, pushing the Insubrians back to the periphery. When the Insubrians attempted to surrender, Marcellus urged the consuls not to accept the terms of peace, believing that the Gauls should be defeated completely. In the final year of the war, Marcellus himself was elected consul, alongside his colleague Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio Calvus. As they assumed office, the Insubrians gathered their Gallic allies, the Giseti, to confront the Romans. Marcellus led an invasion into Insubrian lands, just as his predecessors had done. The Gauls, in an effort to distract the Romans, sent 10,000 men to attack Clastidium, a Roman stronghold. It was on this battlefield that Marcellus faced off against the Gallic king, Viridomarus, in a confrontation that would etch his name in history. According to the account of Plutarch, Viridomarus spotted Marcellus, who wore the insignia of a commander, and rode out to meet him. Despite not recognizing the king, Marcellus was eager for a fight. He had prayed to the gods to grant him the finest armor possessed by the enemy, and Viridomarus seemed to fit the description. The two engaged in single combat, and Marcellus emerged victorious, killing Viridomarus with a thrust of his spear and a powerful blow from his horse. Marcellus claimed the fallen king's armor as the Spolia Opima, the richest spoils, dedicating it to Jupiter Feretrius as he had promised before the battle. This act was considered the most prestigious and honorable prize a general could earn in Roman tradition. However, Plutarch's account raises some doubts regarding the accuracy of the story. Although Marcellus allegedly did not recognize his opponent, his prayer to Jupiter Feretrius using the term Spolia Opima suggests an intention to kill a king or ruler. This inconsistency implies that Plutarch may have embellished the tale for dramatic effect, rather than providing an exact historical record. In fact, the earlier account of Polybius makes no mention of the Spolia Opima in relation to Marcellus. Following the death of Viridomarus, the outnumbered Romans broke the siege of Clastidium, defeated the Gauls, and pushed them back to their headquarters at Mediolanum. After another defeat, the Gauls surrendered to the Romans, and the war came to an end. Although Polybius credits much of the success in the Gallic War to Marcellus's colleague, Scipio, other sources confirm that Marcellus was awarded a triumph for his victory and the acquisition of the Spolia Opima. After the Gallic Wars, Marcellus's historical presence seems to fade until the year 216 BC, marking the later part of his life. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? 
Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.